discussion today, prayer. Is anybody really listening? For these and other questions affecting your life, welcome. Upon this rock, yay! Upon this rock, an analysis of the metaphysical, supernatural, spiritual issues affecting us in the human condition today. This program is for you. Enjoy a little good news to make your life and world feel more like I'm Dr. James Russell Smith. Our guest today includes just plain old folks to help you light your way. We'll have details in a moment about today's program.
Sometimes I think when people think you may not need a job, you may need 
the money or you may need the services that the money is going to buy. So think about that before you say you need a job. He always knew that. So wait a minute, sis. Why well, pray? If he knows all this, why well, you got to pray at all? I'm just in that. And wait. You have to ask. You have to ask. Why? He said, ask you say and you shall receive. Time. Does he give you something that you don't need or it's not good for you? Abundant. A lot of times he doesn't try to say something in your mouth you don't know why he's saying. Mm. But if you love God, it's good to sit there and wait. And he'll show you where to find you whatever you can. It could be a talent, a gift, it could be uh, something that actually could be a talent. He'll teach you how to pray if you remember Jesus and taught us all how to pray. And he'll talk to our father. And that whole picture has been dealing with that. Mm -hmm. How to pray and how to ask the father. Who cares for you above all things, and who will give you anything you want? So there is a way, and that goes back to how I believe that everything that deals with life, no matter what it is, there's an answer to it. Well, I think it's not 
not on the contemplation of meditation. To me, I meditate more and better when I am silent in my prayer. Mm -hmm. Even in my church, I'm Catholic, and when the um, congregation uh, answering verbally, mm -hmm. uh, praying verbally, uh, I'm praying. That's but interesting. I'm prayer can be meditation. And contemplation? Yeah. Concentration. Concentration. Mm -hmm. How do you know you've been answered? <laughs> well, you know, I always know when I've uh, when I'm on the main line that's right. I like that saying, on the main line. It has telephone con connotations. But how do you know? How could somebody out there say in the Bahamas or in Grenada know that the Lord has taught you this? I was like, how oh, the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when I talked about it after I had visited this church, I explained to people, go to St. Jesus and cry to the church. Mm -hmm. And I know all this that happened. I spoke to God with my heart. And I know that I have made a connection. Mm -hmm. And I always know when I make that connection. Just like when we were talking about somebody was saying, you know, the prayer to to. to God is the Lord's prayer. Well, a lot of people say the Lord's prayer, but then they don't make a connection. They don't speak it with their heart. And I think this is the whole key to when you know that you have to be with God when you can feel it when you can feel it. Because I don't know how to explain it until it's just joy. Joy. In emotion, you have an emotional connection, is what we're saying. When you know you've been answered, when you know you're talking to your it's God. Not, it's not just emotion either, because in the one you're asking for something that's tangible. And you also know that you made the connection with that something comes up in your heart. I mean, it's like, not all the time, but sometimes, you know. That's true. Sure, he feels good. You know, but right. his question was, how do you know you made the connection? It's uh, the well, thing. Yeah, well, well, I'm saying if you go in and you pay for a job, and you get your job, there's your answer. Mm -hmm. You know, and usually when you get that kind of answer, when you ask God for something tangible, and He gives it to you, which He will, it's miraculously the way it's given to you. Because it's can be sometimes I, I need a, a job, but I don't know where to go, how to go, what to do, or I've been a thousand places and nothing has worked out. And you just probably go home and sit down, and all of a sudden, there's a job. Quite frequently. No, but there are times when you ask him for something and he doesn't answer to the habit, maybe ever, or not at that moment. And you will not get that. But you thank him anyway, because you know that he's still your father. Mother. And uh, he is only what he knows the devil. You don't know what's this, mm -hmm. but he does. A lot of times we ask things, we don't even know we ask a real well, give me this house, give me that one. And if you're going in the house, you're not burned to death. Mm. That corner, I'm talking nothing down to mm. But he knows that it's hard. He knows that can happen. So basically, it's a busy seller. And he is not going to release you to face these lessons. Unless don't have faith in him. Then you are released. Yes. Thing that God 
We try to do things on our own, and it does not work. But look like when we say, Lord Jesus, we get down so that it, 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 it's a part of, of pure uh, help that we have gone as far as we can go. We cannot go anymore. We, we can't say, husband, help me, mama, help me, daddy, help me, friend, help me, sister, help me, children, help me. And all we can come up with is, Lord, and there's Lord, help me, God Almighty. And it always goes back to that same where one factor that. the palm this rock for this segment remember in anything you do or with any message you receive first discern the spirit how first pray always it's effective and it's free love god in the end only you will be weighed in the balance only you can answer the questions we hope we've raised here we'll see you next time and let the rock upon which he builds be you god bless presentation of Upon This Rock is made possible by this and other stations, a Two Roses production in conjunction with Archangel Company. This is James Wesley Smith.